Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and today we're going to be finding the other endpoint given an endpoint and midpoint. What does this even mean? So, uh, let's, well, we're trying to find the other endpoint given an endpoint and midpoint. Do you get what that means? Okay, so here's, here's what we're going to do. Um, Here's the situation. In the previous video, you had two endpoints and you had to find where the two friends would meet in the middle. But so in this video, you're given u, let's say at four, and the midpoint is at six, and you want to know where your friend would uh, would start off at to meet you at six. So here's your starting point. Here's where you would end up. Where's your friend at right now? Cause you're standing there. You're like, we're supposed to meet here. Where's my friend at? Uh, so uh, four, an endpoint is six. So where's that other endpoint? So if you could just look at it, it's two inches this way. So two inches over there would be eight. So the answer that other endpoint would be eight. Do you get the situation? Let me give you another example. So let's say your friend, uh, you are at five, and you say, hey, we're going to meet in the middle, which is at eight, but your friend is lagging, is taking a while. Where is my friend at? Well, the distance from you to the meeting point, the midpoint is at one, two, three inches. So another would be one, two, three inches would be at 11. So from five to eight and 11. So the distance between those two are the same. So your friend would be at eight. Let me give you one more example. So just so that you understand the situation. Uh, let's say here, 10. And um, you're meeting up at Ooh, 7.5. That's where you're at right there. Where's your friend at? So what's the distance from 10 to 7.5? It's one, two, and a half inches. And you want to go two and a half inches this way to find your friend because it won't be here because it would be with you. So half, one, and two would be at five. So if you're if you're here, your friend is here, the midpoint would be at 7.5, so your friend is starting off at 5. Okay, so there's a situation. You're given you, the midpoint, where is your friend at? Where is that other endpoint? But the tricky part is it's not on one ruler. It is on the coordinate plane like this. So find the other endpoint of the line segment with a given endpoint and midpoint. So if you remember the formula. It is x1 plus x2. So the x value of the first endpoint, the x value of the second endpoint, and we find the average is equal to the x value of the midpoint, comma, the y value of the endpoints plus the y value of the other endpoints, you average it, is equal to the y value of the midpoint. There's that formula. Okay, so we have to know what what we're going to plug in. Where are we going to, where are we going to um, substitute into what? So here's a situation. Here's an endpoint, 2, negative 2. So where's 2? And here's negative 2 right here. Uh, so there's an endpoint. So we're going to call it EP1. That's endpoint number 1. The midpoint is at 0, 1. So here's midpoint. And if we connect that, what's up? Where's where's that other endpoint at? So I'm going to show you guys two ways. I'm going to show you one way, which you prefer, um, we're going to start off with the challenging way. Well, the the way that takes a little more steps, and I'll show you um, the why didn't you just show us this way first time? Okay, so uh, the challenging way is using this formula. Okay, so our endpoint. Uh, is at 2, negative 2, midpoint is at 0, comma 1. And so we're going to substitute these values into here. Uh, so our, our, mid, our first endpoints, x value is 2. So we're going to put that in there, 2 
plus, remember this is the other endpoints x value, and that's what we're trying to find. I want to put a question mark. We don't know. So we're going to leave that as x2 over 2, because we want to say in order to get the midpoint, we average it, and the x value of the midpoint is 0, so equals 0. And how do we get this? How do we get x2? Well, let's put that invisible 1 under anything, and let's cross multiply. 2 times 0 is 0 is equal to 1 times this is just the same thing, because 1 times n number is the same, so 2 plus x2. And then we're going to subtract the 2 from both sides. So the x value of the other endpoint is negative 2. And we're going to do that the same with this to get the y value of the other endpoint. So uh, the y value of our first endpoint is at negative 2 plus y2 because we don't have the other um, y value for the other endpoint. That's what we're trying to find. Duh. So we don't have it. Over 2 is equal to the midpoint's y value, which is 1. We're going to put a 1 under both, the invisible 1, cross multiply. 2 times 1 is 2 is equal to that same thing, negative 2 plus y2. This y2 doesn't mean we're, it's an exponent, it's the second y value. And we're going to add 2 to both sides. And so 2 plus 2 is 4, so the y value of the second endpoint is 4. So our final answer would be negative 2 comma 4. So how does that even look like on our graph? Well, let's take another color, two, negative 2, 4. So let's plot that negative 2 and up 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's connect the dots. And look at that. It's a perfect match. So um, how do you know it's a perfect match? Because it looks like it. Other than that, let's let's actually measure it. Let's draw a right triangle. So from here, one, two, and up one, two, three. So, and then from here, we go down three over two. So, if we look at the slope for both of these triangles, from this endpoint down to the midpoint, and this midpoint down to the endpoint, they're the same. Down three over two would have to travel, and this person traveling from here to here would be down three over two. So. We know that this is really correct. Negative 2, 4 is really the, the coordinates for the other endpoint. So there you go. Uh, the first way, algebra way, using the midpoint. Other way, draw some right triangles to get the other endpoint. So let me give you another example of both ways. I'll do the quick way, and I'll do the algebra way. So. The thing about the algebra way, so the the quick jump um, graphing way is deceiving because it only works if your graph paper is big enough. And so this works uh, nicely. So at 6, 2, so our endpoint is at 6, up 2. So here's our endpoint, which is 6, 2. And I'm going to grab a different color because it's kind of light. So endpoint uh, that's better six two and our midpoint is at one negative three right here so our midpoint is at one negative three and so here's a, the quick way of doing it we would draw a right triangle and then we would draw a a congruent right triangle to that so again with that example of your friend you and your friend so here's you and you want to meet your friend in the middle and this is already the middle you could either go from here straight to there or you can go from here so one two three four five to the left five and one two three four five down two um, or you could go down five three four five left five okay and then do the same thing move to the left five one two three four five and then down five one two three four five make sure i counted that right three four five one two three four five so i drew an identical triangle to this 
Remember, midpoint is an equal distance from you and your friend. And this is where your friend would be at. So the other endpoint would be at negative 4, negative 8. That's the quick way of doing it. And it works because our graph paper is big enough to fit all this. Um, but let's say you have some gigantic numbers. And here's the algebra way. Uh, so um, we're going to take our first endpoint's x value, 6 plus the second one over 2 is equal to the midpoint's x value, 1. Put the invisible 1 under, cross multiply. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times this right here, this expression is the same. Subtract 6 from both sides. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. So the x values, uh, the endpoint's x value is negative 4. What? Look at that. It matches. So we know that we're doing it correctly. And then we're going to take the first endpoint, the given endpoint's y value, which is 2, plus y2, the other endpoint, the one that we're trying to find, and we're averaging it, equals the midpoint's y value, negative 3. We're going to put the invisible 1 under that, and we're going to cross multiply. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 is equal to 1 times this is the same thing. We're going to subtract 2 from both sides, so make, watch out for your negatives. Negative 6 minus 2 would be negative 8. Look at that! And so our final answer would be negative 4, negative 8. And it matches with our quick way, and here is the algebra way, and so there you go. Um, there are some other methods that you could possibly uh, do in your heads. Um, and so uh, one way to do this in your head, uh, so look, um, no, no, no hands. So as you take this, you look at the 6 and the 1, and you find the distance between 6 and 1. 6 and 1 is 5, right? So if this was, uh, you're moving from 6 to 1, you would, you would travel five say five feet and then you want to go five away from the one and if if you uh if you imagine one and you move five away from there not going towards six that would be negative four um so there's that and then and then you look at the y values two to, to the negative three what's what's the distance from there that's also 5. If you think of a, a, an imaginary ruler, 2 to negative 3 would be 5. And then you go 5 away from negative 3, which is this way on that ruler, uh, would be negative 8. So, yeah. If the imaginary, the in your head way didn't make sense, that that's fine. Uh, so the non-imaginary, the let's be visual about it because we're visual people. Um, do the graphing way. This way, draw the right triangle. Okay, and just go the same distance, or do the algebra way by using the formula, cross-multiplying and getting the variables by itself. All right, so that is how you find the endpoints given the other endpoints and the midpoints of line segments. That's it. Mr. Q, have a great day. Bye.